Первое. Если бы Владимир Путин родился во вселенной игры и пламени, к какому великому дому он бы принадлежал? И второе. Можно какой-нибудь коротенький мануал для героев «Игры престолов»? Что надо делать или не делать, чтобы протянуть подольше? Хотя бы три пункта. Ну, там, например, не быть злобным садистом, не зажигать людей драконом, спасать младенцев. Ну, вот три правила. Спасибо. Спасибо. So the second question first. Uh, so what to do uh, in? So do you want to have any manuals or rules for the character in the Sons of Ice and Fire? How to? How you can survive? What to do or not to do to survive in your world? Do not kill dragons. Do not kill children. Or maybe kill. <laughs> You know, I I, uh, I don't know that there are any rules either in my world or in the real world. Um, there are obviously there are uh, circumstances that can uh, greatly increase your chances of death, like fighting in a battle. Um, but that doesn't mean if you avoid fighting in battle, you're necessarily going to be safe and uh, and live forever. Uh, Valar Mogulis. All men must die, uh, and uh, sadly, that does affect all of us. We, we, uh, everyone in this room will one day not be among us unless we have an amazing medical breakthrough in the next few years. А на первый вопрос, к сожалению, у нас нет комментариев. Если хакер опубликует, это повлияет на телесериал и на, собственно, вашу работу над книгой. You know, I'm writing the books. Um, You know, while I am involved in a TV series to some extent, it's the books that are my main concern. And it's it's sort of amusing that people would be in a big panic about the scripts being leaked before the shows come out, considering that for the first entire five seasons my books were out before the shows were out and anyone could read my novels and find out what was going to happen in the uh, in the season to follow. Uh, you know, just knowing that something is going to happen is not uh, the same experience as, as viewing it or enjoying it. And um, it's nice to keep your mysteries and your plot turns uh, pristine. But um, I think great works of art, whether a television show or a novel or a film, um, does not rely entirely on plot developments. There's a, there's a richness and a depth that goes beyond that. And that's why the great works of art are things that you can revisit even when you know what's going to happen. You can watch them again, you can read them again, and go back to them time and time again. Um, you know, I can enjoy rereading War and Peace even though I know that Napoleon lost. Politics and you commented elections, especially Trump. So I repeat the question of my colleague uh, what great house will Putin represent if it will be in Westeros? Thank you. First question: What do you think about Russia? And if uh, Russia, will be, <laughs> do you think about Russia? And if uh, Russia will be in Westeros, what part of the country will be? Um, well, Westeros is pretty well already set. I know where you know what the seven kingdoms of Westeros are and the various lands. So I don't think there's room for me to kind of squeeze in another one uh, at this point. Uh, I mean, I've only been in Russia like two days, and this is the first time I've visited here. And mostly what I've seen is my hotel, which is uh, very nice, and uh, a medieval castle that we traveled to yesterday, which is, uh, was uh, also interesting and fascinating. I love castles. Um, as for Russian politics, I, you know, I, I comment on American politics because I follow it pretty closely and participate in it. I don't think I have sufficient expertise to uh, tell a bunch of Russians uh, what I think about Russian politics. You'll have to sort that out yourselves. 